like you said, you give out game. And I remember, I, I, I say this. You can give game. It's up to them to get it. It's up to them to get it. But I remember I was the young nigga. But a lot of them young niggas don't want to feel like they getting game from no nigga, too. You got to understand. They gotta, everybody don't want to feel like they was taught by another nigga mm. with game. Mm. So you can give game, but it's up to the younger generation to, to, catch, it. to catch the game. A lot mm-hmm. of niggas run from that game. Mm-hmm. This nigga trying to teach. No, it's just trying to keep you alive. You know, I, I, I want... I, you know, I, I want as many successful rappers as it is because mm-hmm. I know the feeling of coming up off rap music mm-hmm. and making your making people happy off it. Mm-hmm. That's real. So I want that. You know, when I when I first started blowing, I was like, man, if, if they had a million more boosts, bro, like mm-hmm. it'll be a it'll be a better motherfucking world. Most mm-hmm. people wouldn't think like that, though. You know, I always thought like that, like, bro, if, like, I love to see rappers make it, just right. rappers, because I, especially from the hood rappers, right. I, I like to see rappers make it because I know what they going through, what they going to go through, mm. and I know how, you know, we change a lot of people's lives yep. when we make it, bro. We change a lot of people's lives. DMX told me one time, he said that there's, <laughs> he stopped calling anybody whack. And I said, why would you stop calling anybody whack? He said, because each rapper, even if they whack or not, they feed at least six black families or six families that come out, that get out the hood. So whether he, they whack or not to them, he won't say it no more. And I was just like, wow, that was so powerful to me because, like, like I said, us talking about this situation earlier when we were saying how the rapper is like now the enemy or it's, it's like the victim or almost like the person that the people want to come and, and destroy almost. But I remember it wasn't like that. I remember right. we was the people that they was praising. Right. I remember the drug dealers used to send us home and say, man, nah, we don't want you out here no more. You got that talent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember when people held the doors for ladies. <clears throat> yeah. I remember where, you know what I'm saying? People held their groceries. Factor. Like, and that was that was considered gangster. Right. Making sure that woman that is not around respect. when anything happens. Respect. That was considered gangster. What's, what's gangster now is they want to kill you in front of your woman. Hey. Or when shoot you with your kids. When did that shit change? Oh. Hey, bro, kids? like, you know, like, they killing kids now. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Like, I was watching some shit in Chicago. They killed the dude mama at his grave site, bro. Oh, I don't know what you heard. Bro, they killed the dude mama... Why she at her son grave site, bro? Yeah, I saw that. Like they ain't playing foul no more, bro. Like, damn, I ain't even hear that. Like, bro, like it's sad, bro. Like, you know, I'm just glad I made it up out that motherfucker. Tell totally. her, yes, sir. You know, bro, we gotta be grateful that we made it up out them shit. Yes, Cause sir. everybody, look at how many motherfuckers you know, Nora ain't make it. Yeah. Like when you said that, when you said. 